Vance Bent with Instant Shot Ski, and today we're getting real fancy. We're building a solid walnut ski with gold accents for a wedding. Let's go. All right. So, one of the most common things we hear people making shot skis for outside of just using them on the hill is events, special occasions, specifically weddings. And this is nice because you can bring them to the party, obviously a really good time there, but then you have something to hang on to after the day. Some people even have them be their guest books. They break out the Sharpies and sign them. You can hang it in your house, whatever you want to do. Now we've got a couple friends, Scott and Jackie. Hey guys, congrats on your nuptials. Uh, they're getting married real soon. So we're going to make them a custom shot ski. And actually we're not even going to use a ski to get started. We're going to use this six foot by three and a half inch walnut board. And the reason we're going to do that is a couple things. One is we've got this nicer width that we can actually put some graphics on, a little easier to read top to bottom. The second is it's just got a nice look. It kind of fits that wedding aesthetic of the wood grain, solid dark wood. And also it's not too hard to come by. This one was uh, bought, I think from Home Depot for about 40 bucks. Now it's not cheap. If you wanted to spring for a pine board instead, that'll just be a few dollars especially if you're gonna stain it, you're gonna paint it, that'll work out great for you. But what we're gonna do first to get this started is actually just shape the wood a little bit, make it look a little nicer, take the corners down, and uh, then we'll get to making the shot ski. Okay, so we're not going for like the perfect ski shape here, but I did wanna at least give each corner a bit of a rounded look. So I used a shot glass to trace a radius and then came back with my jigsaw to cut it. it doesn't have to be perfect here because we're gonna come back and sand it. Aha, told you. So I'm using a random orbit sander to speed things up, but sandpaper would work fine too. It just takes a little bit longer. Looking sweet so far. Next, I wanted to give each of the sides of the board a round over, and I used my trim router, which worked great, but if you're just rocking sandpaper, rounding it would take a pretty long time, so you don't have to go wild with it. Main goal is just to take off the sharp edge and give the wood a little shape. You can also use a softer wood like pine, and then I gave the whole board a good sanding, down to 220 grit if you're a sandpaper pro. All right, I think this thing's ready for some shot glasses. So especially at a wedding or any place that you've got a lot of people using your ski, you wanna make sure your glasses are gonna be removable. You can take them out for easy cleaning. You can use disposable glasses, just swap them in and out real easy. And we've got a couple ways to show you how to do that. One, not surprisingly, our instant shot ski brackets. They work great. We like them because you can install them really quickly. It's just peel and stick. Sticker, you can have that. And the other thing is they hold on to the shot glass really well once it's seated in there. Not so much if you're just drilling a hole in the wood, but that is your other option. So we've got here a uh, inch and a half Forstner bit, inch and a half, oh, sorry. That's the spade bit. This is the Forstner bit. You could also use a hole saw, um, but yeah, that inch and a half is really your sweet spot in terms of the width of the hole you wanna drill. And basically you're just gonna drill that right down into the board you're using. You'll be set to go. So today, like I said, we're gonna be using the brackets. Let's get started, show you how to do it. So the first thing we have to do here is space out our brackets. Here I'm just laying them down on top of the board to get a sense of where they'll be. And this is a trick I use just to make sure there's equal space at both ends. You don't have to use the same size wood block. It's just to get an idea. I think this ended up being about 15 and a half inches in between brackets, which is a little small for a shot ski, but people can still fit. Then I just made a quick mark with a pencil so we'll know where the brackets will be while we start to line up our graphics. And for graphics, we wanted something custom that would show Jackie and Scott's name and the date. So if you or someone you know is amazing at hand painting lettering, you could get in there with some white paint and it would look awesome. I am not good at that, so I had some vinyl decals made. You can get them at a ton of places online, usually local sign shops will make them, and I can put a link in the description where we got ours made. All right, so I've started sweating profusely, which hopefully means we're making progress. We're in good shape here. We've got our decals applied. Uh, we've got our board all prepped. If you're drilling holes through the wood, you're definitely going to want to do that at this point. Next step is to apply some finish and we'll be ready to put the brackets on for real. To finish the wood, I brushed on a water-based poly by Minwax. It's not the best finish for walnut, but it's low in VOC, which is good if you're holding this thing close to your face and don't want to be smelling fumes. And between each coat, I came back and did a sanding with 400 grit sandpaper to keep things adhering well and knock down any imperfections. Then I wiped off any dust with a cloth before applying the next coat. 
So we just finished up our fourth coat of water-based poly, and I gotta say this thing is looking classy. Uh, you can barely feel the difference between the decal and the wood if you run your finger over it. It's bracket time. So with instant Shotsky brackets, really all you need to do is peel off the back, stick them on, you're good to go. This is adhesive will hold for quite a long time. But since this is a bit of a classier project, we've got a couple screws to drive in just as an accent. These are number 10 half inch screws, spray painted, uh, gold sort of brass finish. So that should be a nice accent. We're gonna put those on right now and we'll be good to go. I started by pulling all the screws out of the spray paint board. Then I started by pre-drilling each one of my holes before driving in the screws. This just helps to make things go a little bit more smoothly and avoids any cracking or issues like that. Then I came back and drove the screws one at a time. And you'll notice these are actually hex head screws. We find that these are pan head screws. Anything with kind of that flush bottom sits really nicely against the bracket. You don't have to worry about countersinking the screws at all. And I just repeated this process for each bracket until all the screws were in. Okay, so we are done. This thing came out pretty slick with the gold accents. The solid walnut looks awesome. The graphics came out well. If you've got a wedding coming up, it's a great DIY for you. If you've got a friend's wedding coming up, awesome gift. Just think about all the different things you can customize. Obviously, we pulled out all the stops on this one, used a bunch of tools, um, but feel free to pick and choose what you're comfortable with, what you have tools for, what fits your budget. We've seen people make giant shot skis for their whole wedding party at the same time. A lot of stuff you can do for this. If you do build anything, either this build or something else with instant shot ski brackets, make sure to hit us up on Instagram at instant shot ski. We always like to see what you build. And if this video was helpful, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. We'll definitely have some more videos coming for you real soon. For now, thanks for watching and have fun out there.